welcome to another episode of Masonic Heroes. Before we begin into our episode today, for those who may have read our Facebook page, Masonic Heroes, you may know that this was sort of an emergency visit that we need to take this. We will discuss that later in this episode. But we hope that you continue watching some of our episodes because we have a very good group of visiting brothers, at least some episodes in visiting other cultures. And one of the brothers actually brought some artifacts with him from the Masonic Lodge. Of course, they could no longer exist. But the Masonic Lodge was in a Masonic building. And it is the only Masonic building in the state of Massachusetts that now lies underwater. That's right. Or should I say, what remains of the old world lies underwater. But today's episode is the role of the workman has been called. One sign building has not answered to the name. Today we are in Warren, Massachusetts. We're going to have to apologize because I've probably mispronounced this lodge 15 million times and probably going to do it again. But we're in the home of Qua Quail Bar. Quail Bar. Is that right? Quail Bar. Quail Bar. Quail Bar. Quail Bar. Quail Bar. Or should I say it was a home of Quay Bar because we just five short days. This building will cease to exist as a home for the Masonic Brotherhood. So what's it like to be in an empty Masonic building? Let's find out. Alex. All right, Sam. Depressing and intense because there will be no more great song ritual here on this spot. There will be no more greeting or presenting diplomas to the candidates on this spot. On this spot, there will be no more presenting a 50 year veteran with his medal or any other assigned award to him. And on this very spot, there will be no more of those friendly or worldly handshakes present when disrespecting Grand Master upon his visit to the lodge. Now, I hope that at least one or two of you that are going to watch this video feel the brotherhood. And may you never have to experience what they are going through. This is now the second Masonic building we have lost here in the state of Massachusetts this year. Now, who's going to give a damn if we lose Warren Masonic building? Well, I know the brother of this lodge, the members of the 25th Masonic District. I will mourn for the loss, and I know others, hopefully, will also. But what about that brother, say, from Joseph Webb Lodge in Boston? <clears throat> Or that member that's down in Cape, in Provincetown, Massachusetts, King Adams Lodge, or if you head north, um, North Shore, uh, a brother from St. Mark's Lodge of Newbury, or if you go west, a member of the history of Massachusetts from New Moon Lodge. Some are naturally going to say, What lodge? Warren, Massachusetts. Which is Warren? Or, there was a Masonic building. Massachusetts. Sad to say that the majority of Massachusetts Masons will not even realize that this building will pass with the grain of sand in the hourglass Massachusetts Masonic tradition. And yet, within the space of an hour, they are exhausted. Thus, we waste history. Now, I'm not talking about our old world Masonic. The history of our past, the glory of the past, the history of our prominence and historical figures, of, you know, our overall Masonic history of our jurisdictions, where we began. That's in good hands. No, I'm talking about our local Masonic history, like Freemasons actually been in this town in 1824. When the town was even owned, it was called Western Massachusetts. Unfortunately, this lodge only lasted for about five years and ceased to exist in 1829, and the lodge's name was Common Lodge. 
Now, in five days, 100 and, if I get it right, I believe it's 166 years of continuous service in this community. This building will cease to exist. A lodge that had been in this town since 1858. And the history that we lose, well, we're going to lose the history of those brothers of this lodge. And what they did for the community, the history of the lodge. And the history of this building things there contained within these tower walls. Now, we lose Masonic buildings, Masonic lodges, Masonic bodies every year here in the United States, and perhaps in the world. Um, this is not the first, nor will be the last. Many more will follow. This is our reality today. But a brother once told me that a Masonic building is just four. It's the memories that are made within these walls that we take with us and that last life. Well, that is true. It is the memories that are made within these walls, and it is also the friendships that are begun in these walls that we take with us and do last a lifetime. But you know, many Masons just don't get it. They don't understand. The sound of laughter will not be heard within these walls ever again. The clapping of hands upon a congratulations to a brother on the birth of his first child will no longer echo in this room. The singing of happy birthday to a brother will never take place in here ever again. And even the moments of sadness when large reads leaves and those behind us and roll the work and has been caught, and we all stand in silence. In respect and honor for the one cause. That silence will now rule forever within these walls. All things are a change. These walls are much more. They are our home for memories. They are where we were mere children asked to join a lodge. Take our memories, become a member, and grow into the Freemasons we are today. These walls are our strength. These walls strengthen our memories. Now, come September 30th, 2022, we all lose. The brother, especially from this watch, the members of this district, they will be directly affected. For the rest of us, well, we lose also, but in that. Because whether you ever heard of Quirrell Lodge, or knew that Warren, Massachusetts ever existed, or even know that a Masonic building was in this town, we all lose a little bit more of our fragile fabric of Masonic history. And when he thinks his greatness is still aspiring, he falls like our news. What is even sadder than losing this building is that 99% of us Massachusetts Masons continue to sit there with our thumbs on our butts and do nothing while the side of time cuts down when our forefathers were so hard and sacrificed for us today, our history to be preserved. Thank you, and may the grand officer of the universe watch over all of us.